Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next level of logic. In this level, you will learn to master categorical propositions. Categorical propositions are the statements of a categorical syllogism. A categorical syllogism is a particular deductive argument. Now, there are only a limited amount of formal deductive arguments. You will learn to identify and master these deductive arguments. These formal deductive arguments are known as syllogisms. The categorical syllogism is made up of statements, and these statements are called categorical propositions. Now, an interesting thing to notice about categorical propositions is that they join or relate two things together. They relate classes and categories. More on this later. For now, we will focus on standard form categorical propositions. Now, if the new vocabulary has confused you, don't worry. Just stay focused, and we'll get through this. Categorical propositions have these four forms. All SRP, no SRP, some SRP, some S are not P. Now we're going to dissect these categorical propositions in these four forms, the word all, no, and some are called the quantifiers. Notice they identify a quantity, how many. Next, the letter S. The letter S stands for the subject term. After that, the words are and are not. R and R not are called the copula. And finally, the letter P. The letter P stands for the predicate term. The categorical proposition can be dissected into these four parts. The quantifier, the subject, the copula, and the predicate. Let's practice what we have learned so far. In this categorical proposition, what is the word all called? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The quantifier. Next, what is cases of Down syndrome called? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! That's right. It's the subject term. Now, what is the word are called? The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The answer is copula. What is genetic diseases called? The answer in three, two, one. Ding! Correct. It's the predicate term. Next practice problem. In this categorical proposition, what is the word some called? The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The quantifier. Next, what is union strikes called? The answer in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct, the subject term. Next, what is the word are not called? The answer in three, two, one. Ding! Correct, the copula. Finally, what is events that are friendly to corporations called? The answer in three, two, one. Ding! The predicate term. It always comes at the end. Final practice problem. In this categorical proposition, what is the quantifier? The answer in three, two, one. Ding! That's right. Some is the quantifier. What is the subject term? The answer in three, two, one. Ding! That's correct. TV programs that are on cable networks is the subject term. What is the copula? Three, two, one. Ding! That's right. The words are not is the copula. Finally, what is the predicate term? Three, two, one. Ding! The predicate term is episodes that are widely viewed. Good job on those practice problems. This lesson has been completed. See our other videos on logic. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.